Have you been wanting to take your own walking tour of downtown Greenville and you're not able to? You're either out of town, out of state, out of the country even. Well, I'm about to take you down a walk on Main Street and show you all the wonderful things about our beautiful city, Greenville. And so let's start here. We're in Noma, which is a plaza that has the roost. It has Kilwins. Kilwins is a creamy ice cream that's in a national chain. And it's such a good treat when you're walking down the street or just sitting in the chairs beside me. So the roost is amazing because on the weekends for brunch, you have a mimosa bar as well as you have a Bloody Mary bar. So you have all the fixings, including bacon, tahine, um, Old Bay, all the good stuff, right? So as we go further down, you're gonna notice things like One City Plaza. One City Plaza has um, different treats to it and has different shops. One of the great things about downtown Greenville is we keep our charm. We have cobblestone, we have beautiful storefronts. If you notice in the back as we are walking, there's gonna be a little bit of construction because they're doing a facelift on the building. It's a very clean city. If you've been to Charlotte or Atlanta, it's like they had a baby and it was us. And so it's beautiful and clean and has all the different places that you'd wanna visit. Restaurants are so good. We're gonna see a few of them. We've already talked about the Roost. We're gonna see Halls. We're gonna see Sobeys. We're gonna see the Nosedive. On some of the side streets, you have places like Jones Oyster. Jones Oyster is based out of Charleston originally and came to Greenville. That happens a lot here, where we get cities to have a major restaurant and then they come here because they know we like to be a good eat city. So to the right of me, you're gonna see Marion and Maine, which is a local business. You're gonna have The Vault, which is another business. You're gonna come down a little bit further and you're gonna have the gym mining place. The kids like to mine for gyms and they get to buy them and take them with them. We're gonna have the Blue Mercury. You're gonna have the Bortellos. I don't know if I say it right. I've been here for 20 plus years and I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, but we've eaten there forever. The, they have huge slices of pizza, things like Stromboli, um, all of the calzones, things like that, that are just so yummy. Now there are several locations of it. We've always enjoyed coming here and then going to Kilwins after that or Marble Slab. You're also gonna find things in downtown like the mice on Main. There are eight little mice that are staged in different places and there's hints that you can find them. You're gonna think that the Greenville area was named after the color of the lush green area but it's actually named after Nathaniel Green. He's a Revolutionary War hero, and originally our city was named Pleasantburg, which is kind of cool because there's Pleasantburg Road, which is very close by. So we have had lots of change in our city, lots of reform and lots of growth. Where we're walking right now used to be an area you would never want to walk in. As they have revitalized our city, they have thought about culture, they thought about safety. They thought about economy, the growth of what they could do past that. They don't think small. They think about what will bring travelers here. And we've seen that, right? Lots of travelers have came to our city and then they love it and then they move here, causing the influxes to happen. And we love that. Um, sometimes the traffic, not so much. If you have been to Greenville, you know that it has pocketed areas but our hub is downtown. So also where I'm walking now, they cut the streets off at different parts of the year. And what I mean by that is there's fall for Greenville and fall, it's usually around October 10th through the 14th on that weekend. The only reason I have that one memorized so well is my birthday is October 12th. And so it's always on my birthday. So it's one of the things we do to celebrate. One of the other things that they do is downtown live. It's usually on Thursdays and it's in the Noma Square. There are farmer's markets that take up the whole street all the way down to the Point Set Hotel, which we will come to. Farmer's market on Saturdays runs from May through roughly September. It's local farmers in the several counties that are related to here. And you can get amazing food. One of the things that you will be able to find there is not just like farm vegetables and things like that, you can find gluten-free items, vegan items, salsa, stuff like that. 
stuff that you wouldn't normally find other places, you can find in the farmer's market. Now we're getting into a section that has a lot more stores, that has a lot more restaurants, even Opie Taylor for the little kids store. So let's not sleep on that. Opie Taylor is a very cute store and right next to it is Mass General Store. So Mass General Store has ample things. It has candy in the back of it. It has clothes. It has water bottles. It has all South Carolina type stuff. You could buy some mice on main memorabilia. Lots of different things there. You have fresh salads here. So you have various choices if you wanted to eat fast food type stuff or if you're looking for salads, all different kinds of things are downtown. We're coming up on the Lost Cajun. If you like seafood, it's the place, right? It has gumbo, it has crab legs, it has shrimp, crawfish at times. You have all kinds of things you can choose from. When you look over, you have the Savannah Bee Company. The Savannah Bee Company is based out of Savannah originally. We we'll talk about other cities bringing them here. And you can not just get like wax and stuff. It's got candy and you, you can get honey and honey, can like pieces of honey candy and stuff like that. It's really neat. So Marble Slab, if you've never heard of it, is coming up. Marble Slab is where they take the ice cream and they chop it on the ice block thing in front of you. And you pick your toppings and they mix them in. And then they put them either in a waffle cone, a sugar cone, or a cup. And it's a very amazing treat that everybody loves here. So your base flavor could be something like uh, cream, and you could decide to add graham crackers, white chocolate chips, maybe some raspberries, and then you have an amazing little treat, right? Over to the right is One City Plaza, and tucked inside of One City Plaza is Anthropology, it's Tupelo Honey, and various shops inside there, and it's also a back way to get inside of the Mass General store we were talking about earlier. To the left is the Underground Coffee. So yummy. And by the way, if you look, there's a little mouse over there. So I just gave you a hint on one of the eight. So you've got to find the other seven. You'll also notice that if you go, to, if you look to the right on all of the posts, it will let you scan to know where um, the trolley will stop next. So you know the trolley routes. We have a trolley that um, takes you everywhere downtown, even all the way down as far as the Greenville Baseball Stadium. So let's talk about that. We were just in Noma. Right now we're at One City Plaza. And then Main Street keeps on going till you get down to West End. So you're gonna pass things like Falls Park. You're gonna pass the Greenville Baseball Drive Stadium. And it's a really cool street. Like you're going to miss things if you don't keep your eyes open. So let's go. So to the left is Trio. It is a brick oven cafe. It has amazing food. You do not wanna miss that one. A little bit further is Scoundrel. That is as delicious as the name sounds. You feel like you're a scoundrel as you're eating it. <laughs> like, how could you be able to eat something this amazing? And then you have Ray's. Ray's is an upstairs bar that has great viewing of the downtown while you're relaxing. It has good food, it has good drinks. It's just a great place. And they're closed right now. As we go further down, you're gonna see things like Spartina, Warby Parker. Warby Parker just came in town. It is an eyeglass and eyewear company that is very inexpensive compared to what they give you. And it is great. We're all excited about it. So Sticky Fingers Smokehouse is the next one that you would come to. And that is what it sounds like. Your fingers will be sticky eating here. It is ribs, it's chicken, it's, you can even get hot dogs, but that's not the whole goal here, right? You have baked beans that are phenomenal, mac and cheese, and TripAdvisor, they've won an award for all their good foods. So you wanna try that out. Over to the right, you're gonna have River Street Sweets. It is also Savannah based companies. Savannah must make the best candy or something because we've got two of them and they're always packed when they're open. So on a Saturday, plan it out to be there when they open. So a little hidden thing that most people don't know is because the hustle and bustle when you're usually here is you see all the storefronts and you see all the restaurants, but people are walking past you. When you come past Sticky Fingers, if you're going towards downtown, like the falls, if you cut into the left, there's a little hidden plaza that you have benches and you can relax. It's a little less loud. There's a smoking area. So there's places for you to put your cigarettes. Not that I smoke, but some people do. 
It's great if you have like a picnic that you've brought for your children or you've taken food from the restaurant because there maybe there wasn't seating or something and you just want to sit somewhere to let your children relax or maybe you need to relax. You're going to love this square. It has maybe I'd say eight tables, several um, benches. But if you notice when I'm talking, it doesn't sound so loud here. While you're resting in here, over to the left, you're gonna see Holy Mal. You'll see Ivy and Aveda Salon. If you know anything about Aveda Salons, they use natural products. Um, you can buy supplies there as well as get your hair done there. It's great, relaxing. They have something called blue oil. It's great for tension. You put it on your temples. There's Wells Fargo to the left as well. So come on, let's go check out the rest of it. So now we're back on Main Street. You still have another entrance to get into Ivy the Aveda Salon. You have Beard's Famous Cookies. Oh my God, they're amazing. Then over to the right, you're gonna see Fun Restaurants and the Greenville Triumph Soccer Club. One of the great restaurants is called Taco Sushi. I know, it's crazy. The name is funny, but the food is not. It is so yummy. You have to try that. On the left, you're gonna find Tropical Grill. Tropical Grill is unique food. It's Cuban based, so it has chicken and like, cut up in um, pieces, right? On, you can either have white or yellow rice, and there's four or five different sauces you can choose from, and there's different variations. You can get it in a bowl, you can get it in a sandwich um, or a pita. It's just really good eats and it's huge portions. So if you don't think you can eat a lot, you may wanna share it one with somebody else or get a kid size even, because they have ample size portions for really inexpensive money. It wouldn't be a city unless it had a CVS, right? We're coming up to the CVS just in case you got hurt when you're walking. We don't want you to, but say you tripped and fall or you, you just need some Zyrtec because the sadness and the allergies during the spring with the pollen got to you. You can pop right into CVS and get yourself some Zyrtec or Allegra or whatever it's called. <laughs> So it wouldn't be a great downtown area if it didn't have some bars or some bar restaurants, right? Well, Greenville definitely doesn't disappoint. Over to the right, you're gonna find on Lawrence, the GBX or Greenville Beer Exchange. Greenville Beer Exchange is not, not really one that you would think from the door, it's kind of unassuming what it is. When you first come in, it's a store that has beer and wine, and the wine is so amazing. Amy the sommelier picks organic materials inside the wine for the ones that she selects. A little bit further in is a beautiful bar area with amazing staff that makes you feel right at home. It's almost being at Cheers, right? It has a ski ball. It has um, the golden tea and all of the games there are free. It's just really cool. And certain times of the week, there's um, a musician. Over to the left, if you went down this way, it would be Ink and Ivy and Jack and Diane's. We're gonna go a little bit further down and we're gonna run into the Carolina Ale House. It is a unique rooftop bar that has lots of bar food, lots of great different beers and a really great atmosphere. It is one of the only ones that has a rooftop where you can see Main Street from the bar area and an outdoor experience at the same time. Definitely one that's packed during the summertime on the weekend. As you go further down, you're gonna have the Weston Poinsett Hotel. It is a great space, whether you're staying at the hotel and you just wanna check out the downtown area. If you're having a convention, many weddings happen there, or at least the receptions. There are gorgeous photos all over with the beautiful brides and their backgrounds. It's, you, if you just walk through it, that in and of itself is an experience to see how beautiful all of that is. There is a parking garage right behind it, Life Hack, so you don't have to try to find parking right on the street. If you park in the parking garage, you'll be able to take the short walk over to Jen's Oyster House. Jen's Oyster House is a phenomenal restaurant that was originally based only in Charleston. It has now came here and we're so thankful for it. It's not like when you have oysters at most places where they say so order some oysters and you get whatever they give you, blue points or whatever they have in. They are very different. When you come in, you see on their wall, this board that has like 10 different oyster, like from where they're from, Rappahannock, Old Salt, um, various places. So you know exactly what you're getting because different oysters from different locations have a different flavor, texture, and grittiness. And so if you're an oyster fan, you're going to know that and you're gonna want to try that place. Over to the right, you're gonna see Tell Me a Story. 
this is a cute restaurant that you can look out the windows while you're having just a little sandwich and you're checking the passerbys. So where I'm standing now is the Liberty Building, built in 1905. Like I said, our city is full of rich culture and history. You'll notice in this area through here is cobblestone roads. Going down, you're gonna see places like Sobe. Sobe has unique food that is really good. And then there's a couple things about Sobe's that people do not know. There's a cellar that you can rent for your table, like you can book for your table and you can have a private experience down there. There's also an apartment above Sobe's. So you can rent out that for an experience. What kind of amazing experience would that be to have 4th of July on the apartment at Sobe's that has a rooftop experience where you can see the fireworks, amazing food from downstairs, and just fully entertain your family and friends, or maybe you're having a company party. It's just a great, great experience. To the right, you're gonna have City Hall and the Symphony Center. And as we go down further, you're gonna see things like Grill Marks, which is huge sandwiches. And if you think their sandwiches are huge, huh, those milkshakes are just like, like that, you cannot eat them or drink them by yourself. You're gonna need at least two or three people on that. And if you can, send me a message and say, I can do the milkshake. Cause I would definitely wanna meet these people cause we sure couldn't. To the left of the grill marks, there, are, there is parking. Just make sure that you're using the code that you're supposed to pay because there's gonna be where you can scan a QR code and pay for your parking. A lot of times it gets confusing when you're having the different parking because as it's changed and it's grown in our area, there's not anywhere you just drop money in anymore because nobody has cash. We all use a QR code. We put the area by a, a, like a four or five digit code so they know which parking spot, I mean, parking garage is with, and you put your tag number in. So that's a good thing to know when you're here too. To the right, there's a little sunken area that has several things that happen. So during the summer, it's a great play area for your children, or just if you need to have a area for you and your dog to sit, because it's a dog friendly area. You can bring your dog here as long as it's on a leash, no problem in downtown Greenville. You're gonna see a lot of businesses and restaurants have water bowls for your dog outside their storefront. And the area down there is a grassy area that gives you a relaxing space for that picnic, or if you're tired of walking, you can just do that. And there's like a little waterfall. It's a, it's a man-made waterfall. It's beautiful though. During the winter, it is also where it's ice on Main. So you can go ice skating and it's a, it's a fun experience. Don't worry, you don't, if you're like me and you can't ice skate, you, they have the little boards. We can all look like dorks together with the board and you hold the board and so that you can don't fall. It looks like a wedge board and it's kind of cool. You can also, during the winter, there's when Santa's here, right? Well, Santa, his pickup spot for his sleigh that you can ride inside a Santa sleigh right there. Well, as we keep going forward, you're gonna have places like Nantucket as a restaurant. You're gonna park behind it, or you can valet. Valet is a, a, a great feature, but if you can't, or um, if for some reason the valet line's long and you don't wanna do that, you can park in the parking structure behind it. Now we're coming up to the Peace Center. The Peace Center is amazing. It has shows like Wicked. It has uh, the Book of Mormon. It has various things. It's had Chris Isaac here. It has all different kinds of people. And it's the home to five different companies in our area. So there's 2,100 seats. And it's definitely a highly sought after thing. Most experiences get sold out pretty quickly. So I would highly recommend if you're gonna want to attend, you need to book them as soon as they come out. So you get the seat that you're choosing. On the left-hand side, most people forget about this because they don't come off the beaten path of the Main Street area. There's a restaurant, it's called uh, Marriott, the AC Hotels Marriott. Inside of it is Paloma. Paloma they do see because it's right on Main Street and it has good food. One of the things that we love is there's a treat, it's whipped ricotta with like honey and pistachio nuts and you can only get it at dinner time there. And the other side of it that most people don't go to are the Larkins. The Larkins is an amazing restaurant and tucked in a little bit further is Juniper. Juniper is where you, you can't, again, it's another unassuming place. 
you get, and it looks like little ropes that you're gonna walk to, and somebody is at the bottom, and you give them your reservation, and they'll tell you if it's okay to go up. You go in an elevator, and you come to the top. You're having this amazing rooftop experience for you to have dinner, or if you're just wanting to have a few drinks with your friends. The ambiance and the atmosphere of Juniper is second to none. Come on, let's go check out some more. Coming down a little further, we're at Camper Down. Camper Down is a unique experience because you have restaurants, you have play areas. So when I say play areas, I don't mean just for the kids. They have group therapy, which has all these different kinds of things. It's got uh, bowling, it's got pool tables, it has all these different kinds of things. And in our area, you have places like ax throwing and stuff like that. So it's not just a city for children. Everybody always says that it's for children and it's for work. It's for everybody here. It has restaurants up there. It's just a really great experience. So don't miss out on going over there. If you're intending to come to Camper Down, make sure you do not plan to park here because in front of Camper Down, there are no parking spots. It is just road. There are parking spots at Falls. That is not the place to park. You're going to not have a parking spot. You're already gonna be frustrated. Go park at a parking garage and then walk over. It's your best experience. When we go a little further, we're gonna to come to the falls. The falls are one of the main things that you know about with Greenville, especially when someone says, oh yeah, that Greenville. There's probably a picture of the falls or the suspended bridge above them. Totally understand. The history behind the falls is unique. The falls were once not visible to everybody. That's crazy, right? They all covered over. And then even more so in 1960, somebody had a great idea, not a great idea, to cover it with a bridge. And so you couldn't see the falls. You saw nothing about our gorgeous falls and it was horrible. So in 2001, that's when they started taking the bridge down and revitalizing the falls area. I can't even imagine what this area would feel like without the falls. It's one of the most relaxing areas to come to. Um, Paul B. Ellis III is who actually had a huge part in that because he used to be one of the Parks and Recs managers and he really likes revitalizing in the areas and he likes parks and he likes outdoor things. So he was a big intricate part on making the falls come to life for all of us. Come on, let's go check them out. While you're at the falls, you're gonna see beautiful sights of the falls, obviously, and ducks and geese and all of that. And you have beautiful sites like the Grand Bohemian right behind you. The Grand Bohemian is a hotel that is Marriott affiliated. So if you're wanting to book that hotel, the easiest way is to go on your Marriott app or go on the Marriott website and go ahead and book your room. Life hack, if you have extra time or if you're wanting to have a romantic getaway, there are suites that have fireplaces that are gorgeous with an overlook of the falls so very romantic if you're thinking about proposing or if you need an anniversary weekend, very, very good. And as we call it a hotel, let's think about it. It's more like a resort. Why I call it a resort, it has art galleries inside that you can buy art or different crafts, jewelry, gorgeous. Also in the falls area, during the summer, you're gonna get to enjoy things like Shakespeare in the park and different plays that are put on. You're gonna have the Scottish uh, festival, Lots of different things going on. Our city has so much abundance, it's craziness. July 4th, oh my gosh, is over the top here. You definitely want to get your blanket, get yourself set up very early in the morning if you're gonna enjoy the sights from the falls area because these are very, very highly sought after, especially the swings areas and things like that. As you pass the falls, you're gonna see the Eugenia Duke Bridge. It's a beautiful bridge where you have lots of geese, you probably hear them. They're gorgeous and they're great for the shops that are local. So where we are right now, you have several restaurants with window seating. So the best seat in the house is the window seat to see this bridge. To the right, you're gonna see where an old mill building had been taken and gutted, revitalized, and it's now where the symphony plays during the summer or different bands and different concerts happen. There's several hotels here as well. And inside those hotels, they have restaurants and storefronts. The artosphere is huge here. This is where, when I was saying earlier, that the sidewalks get painted or drawn on with the chalk for gorgeous uh, paintings, or art drawings, I guess we would say, this is where it is. There's little water sprinklers for your children to play in or your dogs to run through. 
It's just a really go gorgeous spot of downtown that I think it's overlooked a lot of times by everybody saying the falls. Walking from the Eugenia Duke Bridge, you're going to find the parking garages that you can access this part of downtown. It is a great idea to utilize them because parking on the street is very hard to come by. And if you're not a fan of parallel parking, you definitely want to park there. You're gonna have the options of getting boba tea. You're gonna have the different galleries from the artists locally. Jared Emerson's galleries right here. He's a local known artist. He's phenomenal. You'll find Halls to the left. Halls is also one of those restaurants that has the glass windows all the way from the top to the bottom. So whether you're having a party for your business on the second level of the building, or if you're on the main level and you're just entertaining maybe a couple people or your spouse, um, it's a great place to be. If you want quiet though, I would definitely suggest being in the lower level. Um, there's also a second bar down there. So if the bar on the main level is full, you wanna check out the bar on the main level. It's a great idea. So as you go a little bit further from Halls, across the street diagonally, you get to see the Falls again. The Falls have restaurants like Passerelles, which has an amazing cassoulet, a duck's dish that's just phenomenal. It's very authentic and it's so savory. You'll have Spill the Beans, which is another ice cream store that you, and it also has coffee. So Spill the Beans for coffee, as well as the ice cream. The ice cream is unique where you can pick your ice cream and your toppings and they blend it all together, more like a soft serve inside of your cone or your cup. It's very good. Across the street, you'll have shops like Lululemon. You'll have um, the West End coming up. You have unique places like the Vintage Shop. It has a whole store of all this cool stuff from back when that's been kept intact to where it looks perfectly brand new but you can still tell it's authentic because it has minor imperfections in it and it's very, very cool. Across the way is where you can get to the Embassy Suites is where Ruth Chris is as well as up on the roof. And those are definitely highly sought after areas. If you don't wanna be in the hustle bustle of downtown, but you still wanna have a nice meal, you can use their parking garage right there and then you could utilize that. Coming down a little further, you're gonna see Foxcroft Wine Company. It is a great experience with great atmosphere, unique wines, beautiful bar area with ta high top tables if you wanna enjoy some um, heavy apps as well as your drinks. There's the venue below. That is where you can rent spaces for your company events or maybe a bridal party or, um, yeah, I don't know if you'd really have a reception there because it's not large, large. Though if it was a small reception, you could have it there as well. To the right of me is Rick Irwin's. Oh, it's so good. And if you're going to Rick Irwin's, you need to talk to David. David is the best server on the planet. He will make you have an experience like no other. To the left, we have Marble Slab. Yes, we have two in Greenville because it's that good. You get cookies because it's the Great American Cookie at this one, as well as the Marble Slab. There is parking for that and it's off the street, but you have to find it because there's only three or four. So if they've already been taken, you're gonna to have to park on the street. The closest parking garage is a little bit of a walk away. So hopefully you get lucky enough to get a parking spot. To the right, you also have Blueberry Frog. If you're not a big ice cream person, but maybe you like yogurt, it's frozen yogurt with yummy treats. And it's a good staple if you're not interested in ice cream. So we made it to the West End. What do we get in the West End? You get Gather Greenville, which is a really neat concept. So you walk in, and there's all these different container restaurants that there's the lobster place, there is the Greenville Beer Exchange again. There's the taco place, which is phenomenal. It's the first one on the left, you gotta eat it. There's the unique donut place. There's all these cool different features. When you go further in, there's ample seating and there's a stage with a huge TV. So they have games or they have different things. And you could rent that area for a private event if you'd so choose. If there's football games, they play that like that. It's just a really cool thing, right? So where I'm standing now, Coral is across the street. Coral is a fine dining restaurant. The scallops are really, really good. There's also the Ballard Designs. Ballard Designs has only been there for a couple, I don't know, maybe about a year or two. 
So it used to be the Greenville Army and Navy store. They kept the border that used to be there for the signage because it is also a staple of Greenville. It had been there for decades. So it's just a cool thing to see how our city keeps the old while bringing in the new. And it's just gorgeous, right? A little bit further down is the Greenville Baseball Drive Stadium. That is a concept that is mirroring Fenway Park because it is a minor league baseball team that pours into the Red Sox. How awesome is that? So if you've had any thoughts of moving to Greenville area, make sure you reach out to me by commenting below. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future content.